is the opening tip. We're expecting a, an introduction of players and all kinds of good stuff here, but they're getting right into the game. We've been down below visiting with Mr. Bob Daly, Mr. Basketball fan in the North Country. As we get set for tonight's Beekman Town at Northeastern CBAC Varsity Boys Contest. The Eagles come in here looking for their first victory of the year, and I think the Cougars are doing the same same thing. Angel Castine gives to Pete Keyhole, or uh, James Keyhole. Now uh, here come the, the Eagles. Let's establish the lineups. We see 24 for the Cougars, Ryan Angel. 22, Andrew Castine. Uh, let's see, 30, what are you there, Brent Longwall? 33, Brent Longwall. 15, Roger Nutt. And 34, Stephen Diesel. Let's see, for the Eagles, 31 is Ramiro Ribeiro. 21 is Nate Brown. 10 is James Hines, the Hines scores, first points of the game. 23 is Matt Hazen, and 33 is Eddie Castine. So let's see. That's four relatives on the floor that I've got. One for the Eagles and three for the Cougars. We see the Castine brothers visiting with Bob Harris over there on Bitten Downside. Pete Russum underneath the basket and Pete McMillan out front are the officials. Maceo Dubos is a coach for Beacon Town and Oroneto for the Cougars. McMillan stops at the question on the scoreboard. 5.53 to go, first period. Hines misses. There's a shot from outside by Hazen. And we're going to have a foul. And we have Sean Gagno in. He's going to replace Steve Diso for Northeastern. Hazen comes deep for Brown. Now over to Castine. Rebounded by Anktel. Blocked by Castine. He comes out with it. Picked up by Keyhole. Gives it over to Hazen. Or excuse me, Brown. Now uh, Himes tied up. Gets the ball to Ribeiro. And Ribeiro's shot rolls off the rim. Rebounded by Gagno. Long ball gives to Andrew Castine. And we have a jump ball. Or a little uh, bobsledding. Hazen in the backcourt. To Brown, back to Hazen. Castine takes it away, lobs it up to Anktail. And Ryan Anktail with a basket. It's a tie ball game, 2-2. Two -two. Timeout on the floor. We have some scouts here. Tim Copeland, Brian Boyer, and John Revity for scouting the game.
Brown underneath the Ribeiro and we'll have a foul on Gagne. It's getting wear anymore, it's just a shot. Who can shove the heart? And will shoot for 406 on the clock. He goes up. And, and, uh, let's see, uh, Eric Miller in for the Cougars. 3-2 the score. Luke Wright is also in for the Cougars. Here's Anktail with a three-pointer. Ryan Anktail puts Northeastern up 5-3. to three. Ball into the forecourt to cast time. Too strong. Ribeiro puts it back up. Now Daniel with the rebound. Luke Wright hits the three, back-to-back -back trays for Northeastern, and it's an 8-3 Cougar lead. Stolen by Anksel. Himes will inbound it. It's the ball to Hazen. Hazen will bring it up. Checks with Coach Dubose for instructions. Cougars in a 2-1-2 defense. Brown, Castine, cast underneath. Shot put up and in by number 34, Brent Coron. We didn't see Coron come in. And it's an 8-5 ball game. Anko brings it up the floor for the Cougars. Gets it back to right. Right to Anktail. Now we have another player, Matt Paquette, in for the Cougars. Number 14, didn't see him come in. Last time to Himes. Himes shot in and out. Rebounded by Paquette. Now Angtill in the paint. Two one. The foul is on Brown. First team foul. Cougars have two. Angel hits the first. And the second. Ten five Cougars. 2.14 to go, first period. Chastain gets it, over and back, no control. Knocked loose by Miller. Anktail will bring it into the forecourt. Now Gagnon's there to pick it up, gets it back to Anktail quickly. Miller to pocket. Right, for three, Luke Wright with back-to-back -back threes from him. 13-5 Cougars. 1.37 to go in the first period. Jastine's pass picked off by Anktil, but Eagles get it back. Hazen with the ball. Angtel. Off the rim, rebounded by Castine. Himes is fouled. One four fouls on Pocket. Jeremy Davison, number 12. Brent Longlaw, 33. Joe LaRose, 35. All set to come in for the Cougars. 
Now we have three sets to come in for the Eagles. 11, 15, then 31. The 11 is Brian Branham, 15, Tommy McGowan, and 31 is Rivero, who will be coming back in. 57.2 on the clock. I'm shooting a second, sh second shot. Uh, Rivero set to come in for him if he makes it. He does, and he'll be replaced. It's 13 to 6 now. Focus with a 7 point advantage. Clasper defeating Beekman Town last night 66 to 25. Eagles have been losing and losing by a lot here in the early going. But they're a team that always improves during the course of the season. Stripped away. Cross court. I suppose it was intended for McGowan, but it's way out of bounds. Twenty-four seconds to go in the quarter. Right. Another to right. Long ball to right. Peter's looking for the last shot. Long ball will take it off the rim. Rebound. We've got to put that right back up. But he ended up getting a three out of it. Or a three-point attempt, I should say. Basket at the horn will not count. Basket will not count. It's 13 to 6. Northeastern. 13 to 6. Northeastern. The refs did not indicate whether it went in or not. The scoring table asked, and uh, now the refs are telling them no basket. 13 6. Cougars lead at the end of one. Northeastern balls. We start the six players out there for the Cougars. I guess they'll go with five. Good try. Five skaters and a goalie, I guess. Delaney, Brad Delaney, with the ball. He gets his first trip into into the game. Puts it up, and there's a foul on the play. The Eagles have just uh, two seniors, James Himes and Eddie Moore. I haven't seen Eddie Moore yet. The Cougars have uh, Ryan Ankill, Brad Delaney, and Brett Longwall. So they've only got three. So both teams will, uh, will uh, have a lot of players back next season, or at least eligible to be back. Delaney holds it up. And Diesel puts it back up. And, ooh, it's a call here. Hold. <clears throat> Could have been elbows there. Corn was a and a swing in the elbows a little bit. And came close to being elbow. But the power is on Ankto. His first team fourth. Brown, the ball to Branham. Brown off his foot, Castine takes it away. Nice defensive play again there by Andrew Castine. Delaney to Angtill. Uh, travel, no, foul. Lucia <laughs> Dubo singing. I heard it through the grapevine. Hank Till hits the first. 14 6. 
Fouls on Rodero, his first, team third. And it's both nine point advantage for the Cougars. Seven minutes and ten seconds to go in the first half. Cougars take it away. Nut with a shot. Roger Nut. 17 6. remaining in the half. Looks like the Eagles have sent some players in. They've got uh, six on the floor at the moment. Now they've got five. Uh, Diesel back in for Northeastern. Let's see, Castine is in. Uh, Tommy McGowan is in. Hyams is in. Ribeiro is in. Hazen is in for the Eagles. This is McGowan. Gives to Hazen. Up for Castine. Gives it to Himes. He's tied up by Nutt. And have a reach called on Roger Nutt. A hold, I guess. 15 foul. Uh, uh, Hazen will inbound it. Comes deep to McGowan. <laughs> Cast iron to Delaney. Pushes it to Angtail. Angtail, tough shot. Tough shot, shoots over Hazen, makes it 19-6 Cougars. This is McGowan. Now Castine. Ribeiro to McGowan. Diesel with a rebound. Outlet to Delaney. Delaney kept it. And lost it. Trying to Change directions. This is Hazen with the ball. Cast down to Ribeiro. Ribeiro shot off the side of the mark. Off Himes will be Cougar ball. 5.20 to go in the, in the second period. Ball's inbounded to Andrew Castine. Dribbles it into the forecourt. Now to Angtill. Over to Nut. Nut from the corner. Eagle side with 4.48 to go in the half. And so Dubos looks like he's got a lot to say. He says, Come on, guys, get in here. Branham will inbound for the Eagles. Off cast time. White ball, says Pete McMillan, into right. Gagno to Angtill. Castein comes out with it. Angtill all over Castein. Looks like a dog that hadn't been fed for a couple days. Ran him with the ball. Eddie Castine misses the shot. Rebounded by Gagno. Right up to Ryan Angtill. Look out. Able to 
stay on his feet, he's fouled. Take the choice. Let's see who the official Russell will give it to. We'll give it to number 15 in your program, Tommy McGowan. Both teams with five team fouls. Until makes it 20 to 6 in favor of the Cougars. Got 4.17 to go in the half. We see 34, Brent Corrin back in, and uh, 21, Nate Brown back in, or Nathan Brown. Uh, I've been calling him Nate, but the program says Nathan, and uh, who am I to determine that his nickname is Nate? Eagles will keep it. 28 seconds, a lot of time on the shot clock. Brown will inbound it. He comes deep to Branham. Now Brown back to Branham. Branham will take the 17-footer off Gagneau's hands. Now Brown to inbound it. Castine from the corner, off the rim. Castine gets the ball back for the Eagles. Get it to Branham. And we have a foul. A push called on. On. We're looking at the scoreboard here for some help. 23. Luke Wright is first. <laughs> Eagles run their play with no Cougars around. Knocked away by Angtill. Paquette gives it to Wright. Wright looking for a pass up ahead. Caught the ball and then dribbled it again. So it's double dribble. Five new Cougars coming in. Let's see. You got Miller out there. You got Davison. You got Kehoe. You got uh, LaRose. And you got Delaney. Brown with the ball. Delaney to LaRose, back to Delaney. Twenty-one six Northeastern leads. Keyhole, James Keyhole. Tough shot. Davison battling for it. Maybe Castine says, well, maybe we got a shave tonight. He's hinting around for a new Norelco for Christmas. Brown, guided by Davison. Branham has it stripped away. This is Kehoe. Miller back to Kehoe for three. Off the rim, Eddie Castine Jr. with the rebound. Branham, short, LaRose, now Davison shot, rebounded by LaRose, he gets it out to Miller, now to Delaney will take the three. Rebound controlled by Brown, into the four court, Corrin with a shot. Shot is missed. Cougars with the ball. Kehoe pushes it up. Oh, that was not a travel. I would not have called that traveling. Miller called for traveling, but I don't think I would have given him that one. We got two steps on a drive like that. Shot from the baseline by 15 McGowan. Rebound. Keyhole comes out with it. 140 to go in the half. Three down. 
Oh, it's the call. Blocking foul. Blocking foul. I think Maceo Dubos disagrees with the call. Sixteenth foul. Foul is on Ribeiro, his second. Rose to Davison to Keyhole. Now Miller to Delaney. Miller, too strong, rebounded by Ribeiro. Stolen by Keyhole, nice heads up play, but he's blocked by Brown. Brown will dribble it up. Is it to McGowan? 57 seconds to go in the half. In the paint. Nothing subtle there. LaRose with the foul. And Quan will go to the line. 20, 23 and 6. It's a two shot foul. Brent Corrin at the line. Harold Martin going by, wanted to be the first one at the concession stand. This is a shot. Violation on White, be red ball. And he'll shoot it again. Shot is missed. Rebound by Ribeiro. Picked up by Davison. Now Miller brings it to the forecourt, gets it back to Davison. Keyhole to Delaney. Keyhole, a nice follow. Basket by James Keyhole. Northeastern leads by 19, 25 to 6. I would guess with 10 seconds to go here, and basket by Hazen to make it 25 to 8. That 17 point halftime lead is probably one of the biggest leads Cougars have ever had on the Eagles at the half in the two schools' relative history. So 25 to 8. Cougars leading the Eagles at the half here in Hometown Cable TV worth your support. <laughs> Second half underway here in Hometown Cable. Eagles with the ball, it's a kick, reset the shot clock. Hazen will inbound. Comes deep to Castine. Out of Brown. Hazen with a shot. Off the glass, rebounded. For the Cougars by Gagno. Long up to Cat to Anktail. Anktail with a shot. And then here comes Himes. Himes stops off the back of the rim. Brown says, I'll take a try. And he misses. Now Himes says, I'll try it again. He misses. Anktail gets it. Uh, excuse me. Longwall gets it. Look out. Off Castine. Anktill inbound to Daniel, back to Anktill. Tipped by Castine. <laughs> Hines. Foul on Longwa. 53 seconds into the period. Roger Nutt at the scoring table for the Cougars. They'll replace Delaney. Himes <coughs> missing the first shot. And then gets the second one to fall. It's 25 to 9. Keyhole 
Silvano. Pilo gets it on a pass from Davison. Jeremy Davison with a nice pass, 27 to 9, Cougars. Stolen by Keyhole. And James Keyhole makes it 29 to 9, 20 point lead for Northeastern. Up to Castine, pushes it back out. Brown with a shot. He goes, shooting quick. Ankto with the ball. The corner to Longwa, back outside to Ankto. Keyhole to Inktail. Inktail for three. Off the mark. And we'll have a jump ball. Thirty-one and fifteen in for Beacon Town. That's Ruberio and McGowan. And now we have Pocket back in for the Cougars. Replaces Longwell. It's white ball. Keyhole comes deep. Slapped out by Brown. And Phil inbound it. Logs it to Davison now. And Phil with a jump shot. It's good. 31 to 9. Cougars. Brown with the shot, and we'll have a foul on the play. On the arm says Pete McMillan. Second foul of the half on the Cougars. It's on number 32, Sean Gagno. The basket was good, so it was a one shot on the foul. Gagno working hard. Gets it back out to Ankill. Ankill drives the paint. Lays it up. Gagno with a nice strong rebound. Puts it back in. Nice strong effort there by Sean Gagno for the Cougars. It's 33-11 Northeastern. McGowan keeps it in play but Fauquette picks it up and throws it away. Miss and Hines with a put back. 33-13. And kill for three off the rim. Keyhole tries to hand off to Paquette. Now McGowan stops. It's the ball to Hazen up to Brown. Now Himes with a shot. Rivero fighting for the rebound. And White ball. Andrew Castine and Eric Miller in for the Cougars. Joe LaRose and Luke Wright in for the Cougars. Hank Tail is the only one to stay in. 33 13. Northeastern leading Beekman Town by 20. Four and a half to go in the third period. Cast time. Nothing there. Gives to LaRose. Cast time shoots. Back of the rim. Ankto keeps it alive. But Himes picks it up for the Eagles. And we're going to have a foul, a blocking foul on right. Pete Russell. Making the call. Himes at the line. Three fouls on the Cougars. Eagles are flawless and foulless here in the third period.
Cabrera with a basket. Rebound and basket. Hankville rushes it back down the floor for the Cougars. Gets it out to Miller. Now to Wright. Cast time. Hooks underneath. Drives. And lays it in. Andrew Castine gets open and puts his team back up by 20 with 3.45 showing. Off time, says Pete McMillan. Now we have Eddie Castine coming back in. He will replace uh, number 23, Matt Hazen. Dolphins into right. Picked up by Himes. Castine sets the pit. Right finds LaRose in the paint. Shot is missed. Romero Ribeiro with the rebound. McGowan. Nice pass to Hines. Tom McGowan with a nice play. And it's 35-17. Teams have played even here in the third quarter. The Eagles have to do better than play the Cougars even though if they're going to get get into this game. Hank Till goes down hard on his back. He went down hard. On his back and his whole upper body got very red immediately. He was down at least the wind knocked out of him if, if not something more <coughs> severe but he is able to move able to get up. He was out at the latter part of last season, as you may recall, being injured in a snowmobile accident. But he's been back here leading the team in scoring this year and doing a, a fine job. And appears like he's all right. <coughs> Modified A coach Frank Dumas over to, to check on his health. There's a shot by Hazen. the back on Himes. That'll be the first foul of the second half on the Eagles. 35-17 Northeastern up by 18 points. Both uh, actually they were up by 17 at the half. Shot is missed. Rebounded by Brown. Pushes it up for Rivero. That might have been a travel there. Thirty-five, nineteen, the score. Castine gets a shot off. Rebounded by Hines. Two minutes, six seconds to go in the third. Eagles looking to make a comeback with Hank Till on the bench. Big basket there for Nathan Brown. Cougars call a timeout. Their lead is down to fourteen. It's 35-21 with 1.53 showing here in the third period. That three-pointer represents the, uh, the game that the Eagles have made here in the third quarter. On the Cougars, they trail by 14. They were trailing by 17. Ain't tail back in and... Seems to... Be a little concerned about the small of his back. <laughs> I guess the only way to forget about it is to keep bumping in. But oh, he's after that bump, he didn't move. He stayed right there, and he's willing to take a charge if McGowan is going to keep going. 39-21 to score. Uh, uh, Brown knocked to the floor now. Ribeiro goes sliding into the wall. Northeastern ball. Ball comes into Delaney. Wide open was Paquette and he missed the layup. Missed the chippy. Kehoe with a steal. Paquette behind the back to Inktail. Matt Pocket made up for that chippy miss with that behind the back pass to Ankill. 
after Keyhole did a nice job of getting the ball for the Cougars. Traveling called. Cougar lead up to 21, uh, 20 points, 41 to 21, 42.3 seconds on the clock. You see uh, uh, Corrin back in for the Eagles. Delaney switches it, top of the key. 22 point lead for the Cougars. McGowan brings it into the forecourt for Beekman Town. Tender for McGowan. White ball, says Pete McMillan. Only four fouls here in the third period thus far. Keyhole with the ball. Three on the Cougars, one on the Eagles. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Paquette gets a shot up and gets the foul called on McGowan. Where the body says Russell. Five Cougars on their feet. They'll probably come in to start the fourth period. 7.9 on the clock. Paquette at the line. Makes it 40. Four to tw <coughs> 21. <coughs> we'll continue the battle of cough here. And Paquette from Vermont. This is the second shot. Corrin comes up, swinging them elbows again. 4.5 seconds. So I guess that was a jump ball. McGowan. Forty-four, twenty-one. Northeastern ends up increasing their lead by six. Or yes, yeah, by six. A twenty-three point lead here after three on hometown cable. Looks like the Bobcats have seen enough. John Revedu, Brian Boye, and Tim Copeland have said, we've seen enough. We're impressed. We're out of here. Eagles are slow to come out of the huddle. They're trailing by 23, 44, 221. Miller will inbound it. Davison, the intended receiver. Eagles will apply some pressure. Wright comes over to help out. He gets the ball. Over to Miller. Miller to Davison. Now Diesel. Air ball, Diesel's there, and he's fouled. Fouls on Corum. No, this is on 1 0. And behind. Steve Diesel. It's the first. And the second one rolls the rim. Castine, nope, hey, Tad. Hazen now up to Castine. Back to Hazen. To Corrin, back to Hazen. Over to Brown. And a nice rebound there by Castine. Did a nice job of getting up to get that one. Hazen puts it up, it's good. 45-23. Right for three. Shot is missed. Uh, 
Holmes, top of the key, rebounded by Wright. Six twenty one left in the game, twenty two point difference. Ribeiro reports in for the Eagles. Hazen brings it up to floor, Cougars in the two one two defense. Count the basket. The foul called on Gagno. Shot is missed. Ball is loose. Gagno comes up, gives it to right. Cougars timeout. With exactly six minutes on the clock, they're leading by 20 points over the visiting Beacon Town Eagles. Ball unbounded to Luke Wright. Miller to Davison. Knocked loose by Ribeiro. And Brown will bring it up for the Eagles. Cast down. Rebounded by Miller out to Davison. Now look right away off the mark. Not even close. It's red ball. Ball for a court to Castine. Himes looks underneath. Before the shot. Foul is on right, because third. Right, nice pass to Gagno. Ooh, ouch. Gagno goes down hard. See, we've got a sub in for the Eagles. Looks like a 22. That'd be Dan Haley. Haley in for probably the first time. Diesel to right. And we have a foul. Stop the clock. Scoop shot, rebounded by Himes. Hazen up to cast time. No travel, uh, no foul. Looks like a reach from here. Wright brings it back for the Cougars. Rolls it away. Four minutes, 24 seconds to go. In the ball game, score is still 45-25. Northeastern leading Beekman Town. Himes into Hazen, and Eagles will bring it up to the floor. Ribeiro. Right with the ball. To Gagnol. Gagnol puts it up. Draws a foul. Looks like Ribeiro was called for it his head in disbelief. Gagne will shoot. Um, Ribeiro is his third, his fourth, team fifth. So Ribeiro's got four. 
on Daniel. It's the first. <laughs> right, slaps the ball. Rivero comes up with it. <clears throat> right, has the ball. Very wisely, I think, stopped. I think if he'd gone up for that, he would have had to, would have found himself on the floor. Refs. basket by Haley. Refs are going to have to start protecting the players going up for layups. So just been a lot of strong fouls of players landing on their backs this year. Steve Diesel scores for the Cougars. A lot of players uh, being upended on layups and I think the refs have just got to put a halt to it. We're going to have some serious injuries if we don't. Gowan back in for Beekman Town. Five new Cougars in. As Brown will inbound it. Engtill, Castine, LaRose, Kehoe, and Paquette in for Northeastern. Three pointers good by Brown. 48 to 30, an 18 point ball game. Castine looking things over, gets to LaRose. And he goes to take it away. Thrown away. Now Corin in for Ribeiro. Engtil will inbound it. When Engtil was on the bench getting up to come in, it caught my eye. He just kind of shrugged and grunted and said, oh, if I must go in, I must go in, but it didn't look like he really wanted to get back there and get rattled around anymore tonight. It looked like, it looked like he would uncharacteristically been content to be sitting here the last two minutes. McGowan with a shot, rebounded by Angtill. Up to Kehoe, looks underneath, nice look. Kehoe to LaRose, and what? But under two minutes to go, it's 50 to 30, Northeastern leading. Brown to McGowan. McGowan with the baseline shot. Himes keeps it alive, Corrin puts it up. To get some shoulder pads for some of these guys. 34. Foul was on uh, Corin, his second. Team six. <clears throat> Hank Till with the ball. Out to LaRose to Castine. Long two pointer. Kehoe keeps it alive. Pocket rejected by Hines. Kehoe's foot was on the line. One ten to go. Himes will inbound. Gets it to Brown. Now McGowan. There's Haley to McGowan. Nice look. Nice look there from uh, 22 Dan Haley to Tom McGowan. Keo lost it. 45.6 seconds. 50 32 the score. Cougar's still pressing here. Just looking for injuries here and pressing. And this game has been getting rugged. And uh, there's too much, a little too much hustle here, guys for an 18-point ball game with under a minute remaining. 
32.8 seconds to go. It's getting a little rugged out there, a little ragged. And uh, no need for either team to be pressing at this point. Particularly the Cougars who are leading, but Eagles aren't going to come back in this one either. So, so I think that both teams ought to back off and uh, let this game come to a conclusion. There's been too many bone-rattling collisions out there tonight. Andrew Castine at the line. This is the front of the one and one. Himes pulls it down. Now Brown with the ball. Into the forecourt to McGowan. Haley. Rivero to Himes. Interesting shot by Himes. Bank tilt from the baseline. Paquette rebounds, throws it back up. LaRose tries to tip it in for the last second ticking down for 50. 34 will be the final. The Cougars will defeat the Beacon Town Eagles by a 16 point margin, and that's the way it was in CBAC Varsity Boys Basketball. On the 16th day of December, 1999, you've been watching and hopefully you've been supporting Hometown Cable.